If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Welcome back to another deck profile, and today we're getting into V Premium Jewel Knights. So we got some new Jewel Knight support with Ashley Reverse from V Clan Collection Volume 5, and I wanted to show you guys what my V Premium Jewel Knight deck profile looks like. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start off with our starter, like we always do. It's our shiny Glyne. So Glyne is our V starter, so it's just all like the other ones. It's if uh, you write on top of it, you draw. Uh, this is a ratted too. If your opponent's at grade one, you get a quick shield. So I like to have my shiny Glyne. Now we're going on to our grade threes, starting off with three copies of Broken Heart Jewel Knight Ashley Reverse. So what Ashley Reverse does is Vanguard Circle, you can Soul Blast 2 to lock one of your rear guards and then you choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and retire it. You look at the top uh, four cards of your deck, choose a Jewel Knight from among them, call it, rest go to bottom of the deck. So this helps you build your board really easily uh, since you generate a lot of soul in this deck. and. Uh, Locking your field is going to be easy because you can just do the skill again because it's act. You can just lock the thing that you called and do it again. Second skill is when this attacks, if you have two or more locked cards, you kind of bust one. Search for up to two grade two or less jewel knights, call them, shuffle, and for each of your locked cards, this gets 10k. And if you have three or more locked cards, your opponent cannot call sentinels to the guardian circle. So this is really good because, you know, you can. Drive check a crit, crit your opponent, your opponent has to, you know, guard a certain amount at a time, and it helps you bring back two more rear guards. So, you know, there's that as well. Um, this is just a really good finisher card. It also combos really well with um, a Pure Heart Jewel Knight Ashley, because if you ride this on top of it, you can kind of blast to give this a crit. So this will automatically have a crit when this swings. So this is a really, really great addition to the uh, Jewel Knight set. So then next up, we're just gonna go, since we've already mentioned it, we're gonna show our four copies of Pure Heart Jewel Knight Ashley. So this is still a for sure staple in any Jewel Knight deck. So what Ashley does is at the end of the battle that this attacked, you can Soul Blast 2, and you search a deck for a grade two or less Jewel Knight, call it. Uh, if this is on the Vanguard Circle, you search for two cards instead of one. This was a great on van, it's great on rear because you know you can swing and get another attack out of it. Second skill is when your other unit's placed on this unit's circle, kind of blast, give that new unit an extra crit. This works on van and rear. So this works when you want to ride broken on top of her, or this works when a new unit's called on top of this when this is on rear. This is just a great, great, you know, rear guard in general, just because jewel knights are so splashable. And lastly, I am still running. Salome. So I put Salome down to two because it's still a really, really good card. You know, don't get me wrong, um, but I did want to make this a lot more Ashley reverse focused. And uh, Salome has an issue with uh, generating hand, whereas if you don't have the board or the hand ready to do the skill, it kind of sets you back. Whereas Ashley reverse kind of makes a board for you. So what Salome does is then at the end of the battle that this attack, you kind of blast one. And then you choose any number of your Jewel Knights from your hand and call them to occupy rear guard circles. Then if you call three or more, you Soul Blast four, restand this unit. Uh, if your opponent's Vanguard's at grade three or greater, that's that's important. The second skill is when your other unit's placed on this unit's circle, Counter Blast, and it gets 10k and an extra drive. So it's really good for Ash Reverse, it's good if you ride this on top of itself. So it's a good, you know, kind of like a break ride on its own. Uh, my main issue is that this isn't a really good first ride target, the or when you're going first. It's really a really good late game card, so that's why I have it at two, just to kind of like finish the opponent at the very, very end. So Ashley versus more of a mid game card, and obviously Ashley is good all around, so that's why we're running it that way. Now we're moving on to grade twos, starting off with a new card. Miranda came back. Uh, this used to be an Ashley focused card. Uh, but now it's Jewel Knight focus, which is kind of cool. So what Miranda does is rear guard at the end of the battle that it uh, attack while it's not boosted. If you have a Vanguard with Jewel Knight's name, you kind of blast, and this unit, uh, this unit's power becomes equal to the power of your 
Vanguard's current power. So the idea is this is when your actually reverse is a big number and swings, and you have that locked back row, this swings unboosted, and you can kind of blast and make this big, so then that way you can still have a really big uh, beater, even though your back row is locked. Second skill is when this unit, when another unit's placed on top of this unit, you can soul charge one, and if you have no face of cards in your damage zone, you can counter charge. So this is your counter charge unit for the deck, which is something that Jewel Knights have been missing. So this is a really, really great addition to the deck. So I'm really excited for the aspects this card brings for both V and Premium. Next up, uh, this is a pure Jewel Knight deck, so we gotta run as many Jewel Knights as we can. We're running four copies of Sybil. So what Sybil does is when it attacks Vanner Rear, you put a great two or less from your hand to soul, draw a card. Fills soul super easy. Um, the second skill is when another unit's placed on top of this, you look at the top three, uh, choose a great two or less Jewel Knight, and call it. So this is really good with Salome. It's also really good as a, when you ride with this because you can just look at top three and call a free target. And uh, it's just really good when it swings because it helps you fill your soul as well early. So this is a really good Salome card, really good ride target. It's a Jewel Knight, so we have to run it. <laughs> but it's a really, really good card. Lastly, for grade twos, we're just running the four Lily. It's just very standard. You're just running as many Jewel Knights as you can. These are all the Jewel Knights for grade twos in Envy as at the moment. So Lily's skill is when it attacks, you put two normal units from your drop to the bottom of your deck. Soul charge one and it gets 5k, so it helps you recycle your, your deck for more units. And the second skill is when another unit's placed on this unit circle, that unit gets 10k. So this is also really good if you do want to ride Ashley Reverse on top of this. That's an option. Uh, it's also really good with Salome. If you ride Salome on top of this, it already has that 10k immediately. But this is mostly just for uh, if you have your front row and you're doing your Ashley reverse turn, you can call a new two new grade twos on top of your Lilies, and those are already getting 10k on top of the force markers. Um, we're going to get into force markers later at the end of the video, so we'll we'll touch base on how the power works with that. That's it for grade twos. We're now on to our grade one, starting off with a new card. Paul Wayne is back as well uh, from the Limit Break era. This is a great card. I love this card for this deck. So what All Wayne does is you rest this unit act, and then you Soul Charge one, and you choose one of your Vanguards with Jewel Knight in its name, and it gets 5k. You also put a card from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck as part of the cost, a normal unit. So this helps actually reverse gain power. It also, you know, it rests itself so you can lock it afterwards so that you're not really, you can at least use it and gain more soul. Banner Rear, when another, when another unit's placed on top of this unit, you can look at the top two cards of your deck, grab a Jewel Knight, put the other card on the bottom of your deck, and the Jewel Knight goes to your hand. So this is just really good ride. It's really good when you want to call on top of it with Salome or whatever. It just helps you find more Jewel Knights. For more filtering and then the main point is obviously you want to rest it and then lock it for Ashley Reverse. Um, I'd want to say that the re that we run four just for the fact that the card's so good but we're really running four because we need to run as many Jewel Knights as possible. Uh, fruiting, uh, fruiting, <laughs> someone, someone got on a map for me so I'm going to keep it going. Fruiting, Jewel Knight Eunice. So, Fruiting Jewel Knight Eunice skill is at the end of the battle this boosted. Pick a normal unit from your drop, put it back to the bottom of your deck, soul charge one, and this goes back to your hand. Second skill is when this is when another unit is placed on top of this, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the same column as this and retire it. If there is nothing to retire, you draw a card instead. So, this is just a great card because it works really great with Salome so that you can bounce it, call it again. Um, it's really good just because it's this easy uh, boost and soul charge for the most part. So, um, it's also a Jewel Knight. We, we gotta run it because it's a Jewel Knight. <laughs> but Eunice is a great card nonetheless. Lastly, for grade ones, you guessed it, it's a Jewel Knight. <laughs> it's a uh, Morbidus. So, what Morbidus does is rear guard circle, act, kind of blast one, put a normal unit from your drop to bottom of deck, soul charge one, choose a Jewel Knight, it gets 5k. Second skill is when another unit's placed on top of this unit, you draw a card. So it's just an easy, you know, recycle. Great ride target. Um, all the Jewel Knights are just overall really good overall cards. 
the fact that they all kind of work with each other as rear guards and not really requiring a Jewel Knight Vanguard is really nice because you can just splash them into any Royal Paladin deck pretty much. All right, so now we're on to our normal units, starting off with our Heal Guardians, Innocent Ray Dragon. So all the Heal Guardians are the same, but I'll go into this one. It is when this is placed on guard from hand. If you did not ride to grade three, you can do one of the following. Give your van 10K for the turn, or pick an opponent's unit that's attacking and it gets minus two crit until the end of the battle. The second skill is when it's placed on rear from hand. If you don't have any damage, you can just put the top card of your deck in your damage zone, and now you have a counter blast to work with. So these are really good with stopping your opponent from being super aggressive. So, you know, if you're playing against like Overlord the Cross and they have that two crit and they're just swinging at you over and over again and you're on grade two and you're like, oh no, they're bullying me. You can just put this down minus the two crit or you can give your van 10k so you can, you know, stay alive longer. So Heal Guardians are a great, a great addition to the game in general. Speaking of triggers with skills, I'm running four copies of Assault. I know people play around with doing the Sentinel crit or the uh, the draw PGs. I like the draw PGs just because um, you know drawing is good, damage checking is good, and PGs are good. So we're running four draw PGs. And then lastly, we are doing with our standard a critical uh, in V. There's pretty much just only vanilla triggers. Uh, so we're just going with this, going with 8 crit, so 8 crit, 4 draw, 4 heal, nothing's really changed. Um, I'm just playing around with the ratios just because it's fun. Um, but I, you know, you can mess around, put a sentinel crit in there and then you can be a little more aggressive if you like. But this is a pretty standard ratio for the most part. So that was it for the deck profile. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around and watching. It's been a long time coming for this deck and I've just finally been able to get around to it, so I appreciate you guys' patience. If you guys want to see some games with this deck, let me know. I actually really want to play around with this deck a lot. I've been playing around with it mostly in Premium, but I definitely want to try it out in V as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, in the meantime, thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. I almost forgot because I made a promise that I was going to go into force markers. So if you want to stick around for that last bit, go ahead. But if you were just pretty much here for the deck profile, you're good to go. But I kind of want to get into the idea of if you wanted to go into force one or if you wanted to go into force two for this deck. So the way that I see it, I think force one is a safe way to go, but I think force two is the, is the spicy way to go because your, your Vanguard is already getting a crit from the marker. Your Vanguard is getting an additional crit from Ashley and your opponent can't guard with Sentinels. And then you get, you get all this power from maybe Lily, um, or you know, if, if you're getting an extra power from the, uh, the All Wanes and then Triggers, this can be a really, really destructive term, uh, turn on top of the fact that if you decide to put the marker over here, and your Mirandas are swinging for a big number that's matching what your Vanguard was at. Let me go ahead and grab Miranda so I can have the visuals. So if your Miranda's already swinging for a big number as well, that can also help push for game. But obviously, you can go the safe route and just pick a Force Marker just for the big number and then, you know, go with that. But I think that Jewel Knights are starting to turn into a Force 2 deck with, uh, with Ashley Reverse, which I think is kind of interesting. That was my little take on that, so thank you guys for sticking around for that last little bit. Bye.